y'all. I am on my way to Trader Joe's. Now, it is maybe 20 minutes from my house, 30 at the very most. And this is Saturday, so there's not going to be any traffic on the interstate. If it was the weekday, there'd be tons of traffic because it's on the way to Charlotte, and it's right at Charlotte. And tons of commute commuter traffic tons insane <laughs> so David's out of the onion salt and that's why I'm going he puts it on I can't even remember what he told me but he uses the hound out of it so I went on my Facebook group you can do a Trader Joe's search and you know see what other people recommend but the biggest help was the tracker itself on the WW app I just typed in Trader Joe's and it just put up a long list that just kept going. The coolest thing about that is you get the points as well. So you can already tell if there is a particular item that you don't even want to bother looking at or scanning because it's more points than you feel like spending for that particular item. And then there's some, you, you know, the points, you're like, okay, I'll eat it for that. And then you don't have to bother scanning that. So really, you only need to scan things that you didn't see on the tracker so it should make for a much quicker trip so coming up I will show you what all I got because I know I'm gonna get some more if I'm gonna make the trip I'm gonna get some stuff like I said I go maybe two times a year um, it's a special treat for me I can't shop there every week it's not it's not a Walmart for me <laughs> or an Aldi's <laughs> it's a special treat so that's why I don't go very often so if I am there, I'm going to make it worth my while. So coming up, we'll see what I got into. All right. I'll see you just in a second. Okay. Here is my Trader Joe's haul. I told you it was 20 minutes, no more than a half hour to get there. 15 minutes. And six of that was to get from my house to the interstate. <laughs> and it is right off the interstate. So I don't know why I don't go more often. Probably because it is a treat. And I can't really I'll just be honest with you can't afford it all the time so it is what it is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my cold and frozen stuff first because I need to get it put away and then I'll scan and mark everything else and come back and then we'll do that stuff so let's get started the first thing look, I'm gonna move this camera so I can maybe not be in front of you hold on okay let's see chicken fried rice and it is you can't see it. I wrote on here it's wet. It's one cup for four points. It says ready in five minutes. I've had it before and I really did like it. Now these, I cheated because I had these already in my freezer, but you needed to see them. The chicken cilantro mini wontons, they're very popular and they're very tasty. You can make them in the microwave or in soup, maybe in the pan, I'm not sure. Four of them is only one point. So that is that. Then, I got two of the pot stickers, the pork, pork and vegetable dumplings, seven or seven points. Now, I did, I scanned all these, I took a list, so that's why it, under an hour, I did, I did all of this in under an hour, because I already knew most of what I was getting, because I went through the tracker and wrote it down. A lot of stuff, I didn't have to scan, because it's just not something I'm going to eat, because we're just very plain people. So, <laughs> if you are more adventurous than we are, it will take you longer. So, plan accordingly. Anyway, these are seven for seven points. And then I also got the chicken, which is seven for six points. Now, they also make the, and I'm just going to be honest, I cannot pronounce that word. They make a dipping sauce, but it had hot pepper in it, and we don't do hot pepper, I'm I'm afraid a couple of these things might be on the borderline, but I do have a daughter and her boyfriend here who adore hot foods, so they will help me out. <laughs> these are the chili lime chicken burgers that everybody raves about. Three points for one. One of our moderators, Michelle, she said it's delicious with avocado, so that's what I'm going to try. Now these just look interesting. vegetable bird's nests <laughs> I just thought well that just sounded like an interesting little side dish it's probably not big because let's see 
It has eight pieces in this box, but that's all right. It's got a um, soy dipping sauce, and it's two points for one little nest. Then I've got the shrimp seafood burgers. It says grill, bake, or pan, pan fry, and there's four in here, and they're two points a piece. I just thought that sounded pretty interesting myself. Also, I read on, up on these before I went because a lot of people like them. The Mahi Mahi Burgers. They're two points each and there's four in here. I went and looked at a review right quick because sometimes things are a little bit too fishy for me. And it said it's very mild and not fishy. So I'm anxious to give these a try. Now in the cheese department, I got the fat-free crumbled feta cheese. One ounce is zero points. So I could throw it on a salad or whatever. The sliced cheeses I got, which appear to be, you can't tell, but they appear to be a decent size slice. This is the Jarlsberg. One slice is one point, and it's the re reduced fat. Then this is the light Havarti sliced cheese. One slice for one point. And the final two, this is the light shredded three cheese blend mozzarella monterey jack and cheddar and a quarter cup is two points that is one point lower than the reduced fat cheese i've been getting from my local grocery store so that's why i picked it up and finally we have the light mexican blend same thing quarter cup for two points it is a blend of light sharp cheddar light monterey jack light Azadero, maybe, and light queso blanco, which sounds delicious on some Mexican food. So, and both of those are 12 ounces, 12 ounces. So that is it for my cold and my frozen. Like I said, let me store this away, and then we'll come back and do everything else. All right, now here's everything else. I got all that put up. I got everything scanned. I meant to tell you, I was walking down the aisle, and I heard somebody telling this little lady, it's zero, it's zero. I'm like, that sounds awful suspicious. <laughs> then I, I saw her hold her phone up, and I saw the tracker. I saw the barcode scanner. I said, excuse me. I said, look what I have. I turned my phone around. So then we started talking. And it was this little lady. I don't know if she was Greek or Italian. She was little and cute and had the sweet accent. And we talked. And she said she wanted to stay. She wanted. She had lost her weight. She was proud. She had lost five pounds. And she wanted to keep. And she, <laughs> she motioned at me as big as I am. And I know she did not mean a single thing by it. That's why it was just cute to me. She held her arms out. Like if you're doing like that. And she goes, you know, I don't want to. <sighs> like that. I'm like, no, you want to stay just like you are. So we talked a little bit, and the woman was like, um, what, what plan are you on? And I was on blue, and she was on blue. So I thought that's pretty cool. You just don't know who you're going to meet in Trader Joe's. And let me just tell you this. Do not be intimidated by anyone behind you. With your scanner, you have as much right to spend as much time as you need to spend in that grocery store where you are going to spend your hard-earned money. Trust me when I tell you, they are going to take their time, even though they're not scanning. So please don't be intimidated. Do what you got to do and buy what you want to buy. So that being said, let's get started. I found a little plant back there because I've been looking ever since Bobby told me my little shelf I got over here, my little stand about would look pretty with some green greenery on it, some foliage. So I found that for $2.99. I'm like, hopefully I won't kill it. I thought I got a little um, pot I can put it in. It'd be real cute over there on the top. Then the kettle corn. They're all turned around in there. You can see the little individual. I should have. Hold on. Let me just do this right quick. I like these, especially in the summertime or the springtime when I'm out on my front porch. I like to take these out with me as a snack. It's four points for the light kettle corn. It's really tasty too. It's not a huge bag, but for four points, you get what you get, and it's enough to satisfy a, a nice little sweet tooth. Not a chocolate sweet tooth, because not much else satisfies that except chocolate, right? 
Then the other, um, I'm not trying these. Reduced fat cheese puffs. You get one ounce for four points. And I figure since they're mostly air, one ounce is probably not too bad. But you can gauge it if you only want a half an ounce, like to go with a sandwich or something. You can definitely gauge it when you're weighing it if it looks like, you know, as many as you want. So I thought, well, I'll give that a try. It says 45% less fat than regular cheese puffs. So we'll give that a go. Now these, why well, I got two. If they weren't two dollars a bag, I would have got more. <laughs> I would have got more. These are the dried okra. These are so good. I can't even tell you. It's seven points for the whole bag, and you have to be careful to not eat the whole bag unless you like want to do this for your lunch or something. Or if you have points, like I do, I have a lot of points. So I could eat this whole bag if I felt like it. But I don't want to eat up two dollars worth of crunchy okra, and then th that's. <laughs> That's an expensive snack, not only points-wise, but money-wise. So just don't use some out to eat with your lunch on the side or something like that. But I'm telling you, these things are addictive. I also got these. Used to growing up, um, they had crackers, like Nabisco, Nabisco type crackers. I don't know if that was the brand. Sesame sticks. Do y'all remember those? I used to eat those with hot sausages. That's back when I could stand heat. I've not seen them in the grocery store in forever. So I thought well, these might um, satisfy that. It's one ounce for five points for this little crunchy little, it says crunchy wheat sticks coated with sesame seeds. They sound delicious. Now over here, I don't know if you can see, this is a little Shibata Demi Baguette. Is four points for one piece. The you know, I was not even on camera, was I? Trader Joe's ciabatta demi baguette. Four points is one piece. And considering it says a serving size is one third of the loaf, I am considering that one piece. So I'm going four points for one third of this loaf. Now let me show you what I bought this to go with before I show you the other bread. I bought it to go... Oh, I forgot to mark that on there, but I think it was one point for two tablespoons. It, it blended in, I'm sorry. This um, bruschetta, Italian tomato topping with garlic and basil. So when I saw this, I knew I needed this to slice and warm up with that. Then these are just regular ciabatta rolls, and they're four points each. My list that I took with me said three points. But I scanned them when I got home, and they're four points, which I'm not going to quibble over that one point. But the point of that is, don't trust what you see. Scan, 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 scan for yourself. Perhaps the recipe changed, so when the tracker said three points, maybe this is a different recipe. We don't know. Maybe that was put in by someone individual, and it was maybe something was um, in the nutritional facts was put in wrong. So always scan. And obviously, you have to weigh your little avocados. These are the little little baby ones, so you don't have so much to go to waste. There, that's probably not very many points just for one little one. Now, these two, the organic reduced sugar wild blueberry preserves. Did I pick up two blueberries? Well, holy cow. I thought I picked up a cherry and a blueberry. Well, I'm upset now. Okay, so the <laughs> they have a cherry and a blueberry. So I have double blueberry. That is a bummer. Now this, I'm afraid it's going to be too hot. But there was two little ladies I was talking to. Yes, I talked to everybody I see. I know it's hard to <laughs> imagine such a thing. But I will talk to the wall if it looks at me. If you don't want to talk to me, don't give me eye contact, eye contact because you're getting it. Pineapple salsa. And it does have some jalapenos that are down at the bottom. And they got this little marker. But they said, no, it's not hot. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. Like, okay. Like I said, I have somebody here that will eat it. Now, their fat-free refried beans are 100% zero. The whole can, if you want to sit down and eat it. Their brand is a legit zero points. 
Now, this is what I went for. This is the only thing I went for is for my husband because he puts this on all, all kind of stuff. This costed me <laughs> everything else that you're seeing. Now, let me see. I bought this. Everyday seasoning, it has, let me read. Let me get in the light. Sea salt, mustard seeds, black peppercorns, coriander, onion, garlic, paprika, chili powder. I just thought it sounded tasty. I like I like seasoning blends. I like to try different stuff on chicken because I get tired of chicken the same way. So I just like to mix up what I put on chicken when I put it in the air fryer. Now these are up here just to show you because I already had these. The everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. Everybody knows that when it goes on the two ingredient dough bagels or buns or whatever you make. That comes from there. They're 21 seasoning salute and seasoning salt. I had these, but I wanted to show you that they did have those available. Now the two, I wasn't thinking this did, I can't really count this in my grocery as far as food goes. Um, Cause these were like 10 bucks. And these were six bucks, but this is a B complex and a C complex. And I, I'm, I'm assuming Trader Joe's will be a good, uh, quality because I I was told that perhaps my adrenal system is not functioning up to snuff and these th there's other things I went and I talked to a pharmacist who spent a long time with me back in his office and gave me material to read he was very informative he called me later at home when he had looked up something gave me his cell phone number his office number anything I need he's going to help me feel better there are adrenal support supplements, but he wants me to research it. He said, you don't have to buy it from me. You can buy it from anywhere you want. You research it and figure out what you think about it. But he said, these two things are two of the most important things you can take to start to feel better. He said, if you don't take anything else, get these two. So that's what I'm going to start. And he told me for my, after talking to me, for me, he said, whatever it says on the bottle to take, he said, take at least three. So this says, take one. He said, take at least three. This one, take one, take at least three. He actually said three or four. But I figure three will get me through a month because there's 120 and 100. So that's that. So all told, everything you saw, including the plant, $3, including $16. So this is a $20 worth of non-food items. I spent $106. So take off $20. And that makes it $86 for all of that food. Which sounded like a lot when I checked out. But now that I've looked at it, it's really not that bad for what I got. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you got some ideas of things. If you do get to tr go to Trader Joe's, that may maybe some things you want to try. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot.